Okay, welcome to the Creative Arena. Today's tutorial will be showing you how to change your WordPress admin default login URL to whatever login URL you choose to. Before now, your admin login URL looks like this. Um, we'll go to incognito mode since we're already logged in. Now, your WordPress login URL, default login URL looks like this wp.admin takes you to your login page this url also takes you to your login page wp-login.php this also takes you to your wordpress admin login and then finally login redirects you to your login page so we'll be changing that we already logged in to our wordpress admin dashboard so we'll be doing this in two different ways one with a plugin and then the other without a plugin so we'll be starting with without a plugin so in order to do that you need to log on to your admin dashboard now at your admin dashboard you go to your file manager so once you open your file manager you come down to your public html and then you locate wp admin WP login, sorry, this is it. WP login.php. Now you can download this and then make use of any form of text editor. We have series of text editors, we have Notepad, we have there is Atom, there is Sublime, there is VS, whatever you choose to go for. The purpose of this lecture will be using um, cPanel inbuilt um, uh, text editor for this to make things easy and straightforward for us. So we just click on edit. And also make sure you download this particular file. Be sure to download this particular file. Yeah. Then you come down to the edit in it. You click on Control F on your keyboard, Control F to find. And what you look for, you type on the search for, you type WP dash login. Now there are 15 results with this now you replace it click on this plus button and then replace it with whatever you want your new login url to be so for this we'll be using our new login url will be um, my new login my new login oh, oh yeah will be my new login this then you click on replace all once this is done to check you click on this you see now there is no wpd uh, dash login again so you now save this so once you've done that you close this you you now come back here and then this particular file you now rename it to the name you've chosen dot php yep now once this is done it's as simple as this your login url has been changed so to verify that we now go to wp and then we change it to this dot php and voila this is our new login url you can see so if you try to access your wordpress using those previous methods I mentioned like the wp-admin now this will redirect to the 404 page so hackers cannot easily locate your, your login URL and that is the main essence of changing your custom admin URL which is to secure to add a layer of security to your WordPress site. That is one of the major reasons for you to change your admin, uh, your default WordPress default admin URL. So now we've done this using um, the manual method. The next we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing. We're going to achieve the same thing using. Um, uh, 
uh, a plugin but before we do that i want to show you something else you know now when you know i showed you three urls to use to access wordpress login okay now let's try the other uh, the two other login wordpress uh, login admin login you default admin login url and see where it takes us the first we're going to try is just the normal um, uh, let's try wp dash login dot php let's see okay see the error message gives us too many redirect this is not a good error message as there is and then let's try the second just the login and then see we're getting the same error message so we have successfully changed our default wordpress login url to my new login the php to this so you can always revert back to the normal default wordpress uh, login to do so to do so all you just need to do is to rename this or to delete this file all you just need to do is to delete this file delete this file and then you upload the the backup file i told you to download from the beginning which is this just drag and drop it here once you've uploaded it and you show it's here everything now goes back to normal if you refresh this to take it to yeah uh, well, why why we're getting the why we're still in this page is because on our dashboard there is a, a catch plugin there is a catch plugin on our dashboard which is this so we'll push cache we'll push cache and then we'll go back to the incognito mode and then we refresh this it should take us to a 404 error page so now we've revert back to the normal default to the default wordpress login which is this so you 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 can you you're now setting that you can do and undo in this particular aspect just like any other uh, plugin so the next thing we'll do is we're going to do the same thing achieve the same thing using a plugin and in order to do this we will go to our admin dashboard which are already logged on so we we'll go to plugin and then we'll add new plugin uh we we'll search for wps hide login hmm, the internet is kind of slow okay now this is the plugin we will do we will, we will install We'll now install this plugin and then we activate this plugin activate the plugin now the plugin is activated we pull your catch and then we go to the settings in order to locate the settings for this plugin we just come to settings here and then we'll come down to hide settings uh, um, I mean settings you see it here WPS hide login and then you just click on it and then this is it all you just need to do now is to change the URL to whatever you want to change it to here and then we're going to change it to um, let's see new sign in new sign sign in Okay. Once we've done that, and this second redirect URL, this is where you get redirected if uh, you attempt using uh, the default WordPress login URL. You get redirected to a 404 URL, uh, 404 page. So we we'll do we we'll save this. 
and if you have a catch plugin remember to always clear your catch whenever you do a, a new changes on your website okay now we'll copy this url uh -huh. and then we'll go to our um, incognito mode and then we test the url yep it has worked this is our new login url and then we will try the other wordpress login we'll see what we get 404 and we'll try wp admin get a 404 when we try wp uh, um, login dot php get a 404 so now for those of you wondering which method is the best well for me the best method is to go with a plugin because there are a series of light weighted plugins. Most of you might be thinking that, oh, this the plugin might take up resources, but these plugins are there are a series of light weighted plugins out there that can perform this function for you, just like this particular plugin we've installed. It's a lightweight plugin and it performs the tax for you easily. And another disadvantage a disadvantage which uh, you will uh, a disadvantage for using uh, the manual method is that you get to do uh, call WordPress changes, which is not advisable for you to do call WordPress editing because if you're not good, any mistake you do there can destroy your WordPress site. And so, I advise you to go with a plugin. And if you remember in the video, there is uh, one of the redirects, uh, one of the options we see errors, we see too many redirects. That is also a bad, uh, that, that is a bad. Um, um, uh, error message because the error messages like that can take up a lot of your website resources and once it does that your site might start going offline and then your host may start contacting you especially when you're getting brute force attack from hackers so thank you very much uh, in our next video we'll be showing you how to customize this page and make it customize your login page and make it look beautiful we're going to show you how to customize this page and make it look beautiful remember to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you get notification whenever we upload a new video and come drop your comment wherever you're confused we're here to assist you thank you and goodbye